Okay, so the goal here is to find out if we have a palindrome. If I'm saying that correctly, palindrome. Let me make this bigger. Okay, so if you don't know what a palindrome is, it's basically, um, well, this is the best way I can think of it. A, B, B, A. When A, B, B, A, when... When you reverse the string, if you get the same exact word, it is a palindrome. If you do not, it is not a palindrome. So this, when you reverse A, B, B, A, and you get A, B, B, A back, you, this, this is true. It is a palindrome. However, if I put a T here, for example, it's still a palindrome still because it's right in the middle. What about if I put, let's say, an S here? When you flip this back, you get like that. It's not a palindrome. That's not the same exact thing. So that's the difference. So what I'm basically saying is that this should give you true and this should give you false. False. We'll try several examples. Now, this is a fairly easy question. You can get X basically to write to write uh, or to explain or just to even explain the algorithm that you use to write uh, to check if a certain string is a is a palindrome. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is this. Let's see my algorithm. I'm going to simply reverse the string, reverse the string, and then check with the original string. Check with original string if if they are the same. If they are same. That's the easiest thing to do, honestly. So let's see. Let me just bring this down. Okay. So const Call it palindrome equals we're doing a little here six syntax. Okay. Um okay, so let me say is palindrome because this is a boolean. Is palindrome this is a boolean, so that's why. And I wanna so I'm gonna take the string. So first I'm gonna change the string into an array. To change a string to an array, you split it. Next, I'm going to now I'm going to reverse the array using JavaScript library. Simple. Now I'm going to turn the array back into a string. Just join it. J. This is J O I N. Look at me, I can't spell. So now I'm just going to return uh, whether it's true or false. If it's the same, return. Is palindrome. Well, actually, no. Let me just print it out. Control that log. Now, this will return true if it's a palindrome. This will return false as a, if it's not a palindrome. So let's try it out. Uh, let's call it. We gotta call it with a string. Palindrome. Let's pass in a b b a. This should definitely be true. Let's see. True. Beautiful. Let's make it false. Let's put my first name, Kunle. False, as you can see that. Let's put Anna. This is true. True. Okay, very simple. Another way of doing it is this. Let me show you. Let's just, let me, let me show you another way of doing it. Well, let's do a self calling function string. I really like writing this self calling functions. Let me show you how to do it. Again, let's put David. Obviously, that's false. That's not a palindrome. So I'm going to make a reverse, reversed constant. If you watch my other video, you, you understand where I'm getting this from. Then I'm gonna do a for off loop. For off loop. Let x of string. And then I'm saying reversed equals reversed equals x plus reverse. And then let's see. Next I'm going to um, 
Should I return? Go into printout. If string equals reverse. Again, I'm passing David. Let's let's comment this outline. Comment that out. I'm passing David. This is interesting. I like this. I know something. Let's see. Let's let's make bring this up a little bit. Error. Let's see. Nice. Look at the error. As assignment to constants variable. Type error. Look at this. This is the error right here. When you're using constants, constant means you will not you are not going to change it. But what am I doing here? I am changing it so I cannot use const. So I'm going to have to use let. Let. Now let's see. Beautiful. False. Let's try. Let's 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 try. It. Hannah. True. Okay. Perfect. Thank you.